Religious seekers of truth have an extremely difficult task on their hands, namely, how to choose from among the many religions in the world. By some estimates, there are thousands of religions out there, and even if one pairs it down to the major religions, there's still a dizzying array of significantly different choices. What to do? Well, I have good news for those religious seekers out there who have been considering Christianity. In order to be a Christian, one must believe, at the very least, that there was a fellow named Jesus who lived approximately 2,000 years ago and who was sent to the world by God. Fortunately, the Christian scriptures, the New Testament, provides a quick and easy way to determine whether we should believe that this Jesus was in fact sent by God. Turn to the 17th chapter of the Gospel of John. In it, we encounter Jesus praying to God. He prays for himself and for the group of disciples with whom he had been traveling during his public life. Then Jesus' prayer turns to the future. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be one in us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one, as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be completely one, so that the world will know that you sent me. So, the way we can know whether God sent Jesus into the world is to take a look at believers in Jesus to see whether they are, as Jesus put it, completely one. Currently, there are estimated to be 38,000 Christian sects worldwide, and there are further divisions within the sects themselves. For example, do you want to be a Catholic? Well, you can be a Roman Catholic, or a Maronite Catholic, or a Syriac Catholic, or a Chaldean Catholic, or a Byzantine Catholic, or a Coptic Catholic, and the list goes on. Do you want to be a Lutheran? In the United States alone, your choices are many. You can be a member of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, or the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, or the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, or the Association of Free Lutheran Congregations. By the way, several of them don't believe that the others are really Lutherans. You may join a Christian sect that believes Jesus is God incarnate, or you may join a Christian sect that believes that Jesus is not divine. You may join a Christian sect that believes the Christian God consists of three persons, or a Christian sect that believes their God is only one person. And on and on and on it goes. Fortunately, however, the religious seeker of truth needn't deal with any of this. He or she may simply cross Christianity off the list of possible true religions. After all, Jesus says that the basis for believing that God sent him into the world is that his followers are, quote, completely one. Clearly, they're not completely one. Not even close. So, dear religious seeker, you may thank Jesus for making your search that much simpler. Christianity refutes itself.